All right, welcome to part three of Monday, June 20th of 2022. Uh, I'm currently on Gebhardt right now here in Hucklebuck, a.k.a. Treptoria. And we just passed the family sector. And I guess the one last family sector, well, I guess, yeah, one last family sector... The pass left here in Hucklebuck would be the federal district of Treptoria. Yeah, I know. It's kind of split off onto like multiple different provinces are kind of spread around all over town. And that, you know, the federal district is, well, this is exactly what you would expect it to be, a federal district. Uh, if I recall correctly, I'm pretty sure I'd called it the District of T-Rev. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't know, but man. Um, Okay, uh, but anyways, in the last part, I told you my top three picks for uh, the country that I want to go to in North America and South America, and my top four picks for Europe, with the rule of picking two well-known countries and two kind of obscure countries. So for a quick recap of that, for North America, I picked Canada again, I picked Mexico, and the Bahamas. And then for South America, Brazil, Argentina, and Chile. And then for Europe, I picked the UK, Germany, as my too well obscure, or too well known. And then for the obscure, I picked the Vatican and little Liechtenstein. If you want the reasons for all those, watch part two. Anyways, here we go. Three continents down, three more to go. So let's go ahead and start out with uh, Africa, which is, I guess you could call the birthplace of humanity. Because, you know, that's where... Homo sapiens kind of, you know, evolved from, what was it, like, uh, like 200,000 years ago, something like that, I don't know, okay, so, Africa. Top three countries I want to go to. Well, <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, before I pick my first pick, I'm pretty sure you'll know. Okay, fine, I'll just say it. Uh, pick number one, Egypt. Yeah, I kind of had a little cringy phase of my uh, childhood where I was like into like mythology. So like... I was real big into like ancient Egypt and Egyptian mythology with my favorite Egyptian god being uh, Anubis, which if I recall correctly is the god of mummification. It's not the god of the afterlife because that's uh, Orisius. But yeah, my favorite Egyptian god was uh, Anubis as a kid. Oh, let's see here. Uh, so yeah, Egypt. Well, yeah, anyway, so it was pretty cringy of how much I was into ancient Egypt. <laughs> it's honestly kind of sad, actually. But, you know, it is what it is.
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. We're now in the district of T-Rev. Or whatever I called it. Oh yeah, there's the house. In all of its glory. Mom's not home, so she's at work. Katrina's not home. She must be out at Brooks or something. Be my guess, but... I don't know. I don't fall into either of their lives, honestly. I'm just kind of busy doing my own thing, really. Um... Yep, they're definitely out having a blast. Um, okay, so anyways, for Africa, I would pick Egypt. Uh, okay, so there's my North African Arab country that we go to. Uh, let's see here. What else? Who, where else would I go to? Probably like Nigeria or like, like Kenya for spot number two. One of the two. I don't know. And, oh God. Probably like Botswana or like South Africa. So, yeah, those would be my countries I would go to. In Africa. Uh, okay. Now we go to Asia. Which also is... <laughs> the rest of the Middle East. Oh boy. Let's see here. Asian countries I will go to. Well, definitely Japan. I've always wanted to go to Japan. Oh, God. There's just so many countries in Asia. I guess going to India would be pretty cool. See the Taj Mahal. Um. God, I don't know. Japan, India. <laughs> North Korea? No, I'm just kidding. I would never go to North Korea. They won't even let an American like me in there. Unless you're Dennis Rodman. <laughs> you know, speaking of which, I don't even know why Kim Jong-un is like good buddies with Dennis Rodman. Because, you know, he's black, he has earrings, he has a lot of money. But yeah, Dennis Rodman can go into North Korea whenever he wants. God, I don't even know, man. I'm just going to say China. Now, there's a reason why I didn't say a couple countries for either, well, for, for, well, for either Europe and or Asia. Because, well, for one, Russia. Now's not the time to go to Russia. I mean, I would like to see the, uh, the Kremlin, you know, in, in, you know, Red Square in downtown Moscow. But, you know, with the war in Ukraine going on right now, it's not, it's really not worth going to Russia. Plus, it's also, I guess you could say, a uh, Eurasian country. <laughs> because, you know, the Euro Mountains, which is, 
which is kind of said for being the uh, boundary between Europe and Asia. You know, it's obviously in Russia. Kind of 4IA. <laughs> wow. You got Sailor Moon. As their uh, car seat cover. But, you know, it's, it's weird. I, I know what Sailor Moon is, but I've never actually seen an episode of Sailor Moon. But I, you know, I know of Sailor Moon. I know what the chick looks like. But, you know, I just never seen it. I'm, I, I'm getting sidetracked. Anyways, but yeah, I wouldn't go to Russia. I would go to Russia, but now's not the time. Maybe once Putin is out of power, like out of, you know, out of power as, you know, I guess you could say dictator. Because he's been prime minister of Russia a couple times and he's been president of Russia twice. And he's even been president of Russia since 2011. For being, you know, a former KGB officer, you know, back in the, the Soviet days. But, you know, that's just whatever, I guess. Oof. Um, and, uh, Israel. <laughs> uh, according to passports, if you even go to Israel, you can kiss going to all the uh, Arabic countries goodbye. Because they won't even let you in if, even if you have an Israeli stamp on your passport. They'll, like, send you back. Well, I don't know if they will or not. They'll either kill you, put you in jail, or send you back. Well, let's just hope that, you know, if you ever end up doing that, they just send you back. So, it's, I would say the best thing to do is to visit all of the uh, Arab world countries first. And then go to Israel. That way you can see what you want to see in the Arabic world before you go to, you know, Israel. Oh, definitely got a little windy. Okay. Let's see here. I think... Okay, hold on a second. Where was I? Oh yeah, that's right. Countries. All right. Anyways, <laughs> God, I got. I kept getting sidetracked on a bunch of shit. Okay, we did. Well, we did. We did Africa. We did Asia. Oh yeah, we gotta do Oceania. Which 
in English isn't really a country, or not a country, but a continent. It's not a continent in English, but it's a it's a geographic region in English. It's not a continent. Because, you know, that part of the world, you know, where Australia, New Zealand, and all the, and all those other, like, island countries out over there. The continent is, for over there, it's known as uh, Australia. But, yeah. Anyways. So I've always called it the continent of Oceania. Just kind of dis discard the continent of Australia because, you know, Australia is a country and not a continent. Even though a lot of people say it is a continent. I don't think so, personally. I think Australia should only be a country, which it obviously is. And speaking of which, top three countries in Oceania I would go to. Well, of course, there's Australia and New Zealand. But then the third, I honestly don't know. So I'm going to say Fiji. Since <laughs> I don't remember all the uh, little island countries of you know, that part of the world. Oh God, now what? Oh, there it is. I'm like, where the hell is it coming from? Shit. <laughs> you could have gone like three times over, dude. Three times over. Someone just threw, drew a dick with chalk. I would draw it or I would show it, but I'm not going to. So, yeah. Uh, so, to recap on all the continents and countries that I would visit for North America, Canada, Mexico and the Bahamas, South America, Brazil, Argentina and Chile. For Europe, the UK, Germany, the Vatican and Liechtenstein, Africa, Egypt, either Kenya or Nigeria, and either Botswana and South Africa, and Asia, Japan, India, and China, just so I, you know, say something about that one and then Oceania Australia New Zealand and Fiji all right that is going to be the end of part three 
Stay tuned for part four. And uh, we will see you in just a little bit.